hello YouTube gamer newbies. Uh, GOTC newbies. It's late at night. Forgive me all. This video is going to be a real basic tutorial. We're going to go over our settings menu, okay? So you can get to it by clicking these little gears up by your power bar or by clicking your picture and clicking the gears in the lower left, okay? Um, there's some important features on here. Um, first off, if you go to your account, um, it lets you, you know, bind your account here, um, start a new game, which you don't want to do unless you've bound your account to your Facebook or Game Center, or if you have more than one account, you can switch between accounts this way. Um, invite friends. This is where you'd go to generate a friend code, um, and then use friend code. That's where you'd put it in. Um, I do not recommend if you're a newbie that you use that friend code to generate yourself into kingdom 398. You will die. It is an older kingdom. Um, there's customer service, um, purchase history. Uh, for the last couple weeks, you can turn your music on and off, sound effects on and off, select your language. Um, under the chat feature, there's an important thing. Okay. Um, as you see, I have my translations all on that helps you communicate with all your team members and people all over the world speaking different languages. Um, we also have our profanity filter. Turn your profanity filter off. If it is on, you will not see half of the things that other people are posting. It'll be the most normal words in the world. They'll all be starred out. Um, if people post coordinates, um, those will be starred out. So get that profanity filter off um, for for your messages, allegiance, and kingdom, or um, you're just going to see a bunch of stars all the time. Um, it's really annoying. Um, notifications. I have all my notifications up. I want to get notified basically when and if anything goes on in my keep. Um <laughs> And, um, the March buttons, you want to leave those on, um, anonymous gift giving. Um, this means that if you buy a pack, um, if you have the anonymous gift giving on, then when your allegiance members get the gift, um, every time you buy a pack, your allegiance members will get a gift. If you have it off, they can see that it's from you, um, and then if it's on, it'll just say from anonymous. Um, and then a really crucial thing is this auto accept bannerman on off switch. Okay. Turn it off immediately. Um, if it is on, that means that anyone can, um, become a bannerman underneath you. They'll be able to access your coordinates, um, this is how you get spies. This is how you get bigger players who are hunting for little players who have resources in their keep. All they have to do is apply to be your bannerman. If your auto accept is green and on, they're automatically there. You don't even have to approve them. Okay. Turn that auto accept bannerman off immediately. Um, forums just takes you to a Warner Brothers general game forum. Um, player search. If you click player search, um, and you know, the player you're looking for, it's, um, someone that's in here and, and say, I want to find my main keep, um, here. Then I would search, um, and ideally it would come up, um, <laughs> but it's not working. So let's just try if I just put the first word in, um, there we go. <laughs> Too many results for dark, right? Um, there's lots of darks around here. Um, so we can try dark P, um, and hit search. And then you see all the players that start with dark P. So, um, then you can view their details and things like that. So that's kind of a cool feature, especially if you're shuffling around in an allegiance or something like that. And you lose one of your players <laughs> and you didn't message them or something. You can find them by clicking player search, um, rate the game, blocked players. Um, 
there's a lot of players that you will block in kingdom chat um, because it's spammers that are just spamming, you know, websites and things like that. And you don't want to see that interrupting the chat. So you can block them or block anybody that you want. Um, and you block the player by uh, clicking on that player's message and a box comes up and, and one of the options will be to block them. And of course, your terms of service, privacy policies, um, that's basically the overview here for your settings. Um, so aside from your customer service building where you can submit tickets, you can also click customer service from there and you get the same options that you get um, inside your keep if you click this building right here, okay? Um, so that's basically your settings um, and what they do. All right. Hope that helped you guys out. Have a good night.